my boobs are getting sweaty. It is so hot in here, guys. My head looks like such an onion today. But this video is about self-love. I love my onion head. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a little talk to video. Just giving advice because I asked on Instagram videos that you guys wanted to see this one popped up and i actually really liked the idea i suggested in my last video that i could do a video on like self-care glowing up mentally physically just everything like that and it seemed like a really good idea I'd grab some tea or something and we're just gonna have a little chat so i've always been that shy kid i was very very anxious when I was younger. I've definitely grown out of it now. It's not as bad as it used to be, but when I especially moved to secondary school, I became very, very, very anxious. I actually changed schools. So I had one year, year seven, in a mixed school, and then I changed for year eight, and I went to an all-girls school. I had some bad experiences in the first school. I absolutely hated it. I despised that school. So I moved to this girls' school in year Eight. stuff that happened in year seven i'm not gonna go into it but basically it definitely changed me as a person i was a lot more shy a lot more reserved and nervous and i wasn't very trusting of people what i was always good at and what i'm still good at is putting up like a wall so you can never tell what i'm thinking on the inside because on the outside i will always be happy smiley doing good and I'm quite good at that which is not a good thing but I'm good at that and I always have been and I was always kind of didn't really have that much confidence in myself quite shy quite reserved when I went to college it got even worse <laughs> um, we're not gonna get into that whatever but the thing is every single thing that's happened to me has shaped me into the person that I am now if I could take back everything that happened to me I wouldn't I always used to tell myself it may seem bad now but it will get better and it, and it has <laughs> So after college I went to do, I went to an art college and I did a foundation year and I formed really great friendships there and that year is where I had the most change in myself. I was free to express myself. I started caring less about what other people thought of me and started caring more about what I thought of myself and that is something that is so important. I used to think, oh I can't do this because this person will react this way. I deleted my last YouTube channel because I was scared what people were gonna say about it, but who cares? Like, who cares what people will say? So you've got people that don't like you, and they see you online, and they send it to group chats, and they're like, ha, ah, look at this girl, who she thinks she is? Okay, they can do that if they want. That's fine, but at the end of the day, I'm still here, and they're still there for doing that. So, you know. The reason why I hadn't started, restarted the YouTube channel for all this time is because I was like, I'm putting myself on camera in front of God knows how many people, like, this is really nerve wracking. I don't know if I feel confident, like, what about hate? Life experiences make you realize that what other people think, it doesn't matter. They're only thinking one thing or they're only saying one thing because they are jealous. And it's probably gonna be like hard to hear that, but they're jealous. That's literally why. Why else would you hate on someone? If this person is doing great for themselves and they are a kind, genuine person and you're hating on them, you are jealous and if you don't want to face it that's fine but that's what you are <laughs> and i'm now in a really good relationship and you know i'm really happy and grateful to be in that and even during that relationship i have like being confident a lot of the times you can be in relationships and your confidence can go down a lot and it sounds weird but that's the thing that actually happens you kind of stop working on yourself because you're comfortable for me it's always like i'm never going to stop working on myself and where i want to be because that's what i want to do i have life goals i have future aspirations yeah Self-care is so important. For me, the way I feel the most confident, which sounds so shallow, is by how I look. If one day I wake up, you know, I'm, I'm looking pale, my hair's all messed up, I'm just kind of not having a good day, then you don't feel confident. And it may be like, oh, that's so superficial to say that, but it's true. And so for me, the way that I get a confidence boost is having a bath, relaxing, like taking care of my skin, doing my makeup, getting dressed up, doing my hair. I woke up this morning, I did not look good. I looked messed up, I looked grubby, I looked dusty, I looked musty, I looked crusty, I did not look good. That reflected on my mood. I woke up and I didn't feel good because I didn't felt that I look good. You get ready, you do your makeup, you do your hair. I filmed TikTok this morning. I love TikTok guys, like I love it. I filmed TikToks, I did my schoolwork. 
and I feel better. I've achieved something. I also think it's really important to work on your body as well. I'm not saying like you need to work on your body because your body doesn't look good. Like not, I'm not talking about that. I think that working out and being athletic as such, I guess, is so good for your mental health. So good. Whenever I was in a bad mood or I just felt kind of eh, I would go to the gym I would spend a couple hours there and you always come out feeling good. You will always regret not going to the gym, but you will never regret going to the gym. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say is you will never feel bad after going to the gym. Like for a gym session, you come out of it and you feel amazing and people who go to the gym know this and they can relate to this. That is my kind of escape from whatever I'm dealing with. Obviously, because it's locked down, gyms are closed. What I do, I've been doing home workouts every single day, trying to be going for a run. I'm not really a runner. I don't really like cardio, but I've been trying, whatever. So. Just doing something that occupies your time. This part is about social media and I really want to dive into this because social media has such a huge effect on your self-confidence and how you view yourself. Girls or guys, whoever, please, 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 please do not let Instagram meme pages put you down. I know. And I see it with my own eyes. I know what those pages post. They will post girls with the most unrealistic bodies or this or that. And they will be like, this is what I want. Why aren't all girls like this? Why do men feel like they have the audacity, the audacity to do that? Do you know what I see Instagram stories of meme pages being like, rape this girl, judge this girl, or putting two girls together and be like, who's fitter? Do you know how horrible that is? Just some guys seem to think that they have the right to comment on girls' appearances when they need to check themselves. That's all I'm gonna say. I always used to be that person who would, you know, relentlessly scroll on my explore page and you don't realise you're doing it. Subconsciously, your mind is comparing yourself to every single girl you see. It's, it's so hard to stop comparing yourself. It's not just, it's not something you can say and it can be done. What I did, I deleted my Instagram app for two months. I don't know if you've been following me on Instagram, you may have not been very active for a while and it was the best decision ever. Like, I came back and my whole mindset has changed. I focus on myself this whole time and even now if I go on this wall page, I don't compare myself to other people because I've realised that what good is that going to do you? And you go into a room and you walk into a room full of other girls, what good is it going to do you to compare yourself? Your mentality should be to walk into that room and be like, do you know what? I look good. These girls look good too and I look good and that is it. And girls, can I just put this one out there? Hating on other girls is just jealousy. I'm talking about the jealousy thing again, but jealousy is such a big part of why girls hate and it's horrible. Imagine sending a girl hate for no reason just because you're jealous or you just don't like how they look or what they're doing. It's the same girls who preach about mental illness after a celebrity commit suicide and then they're like oh never know what anyone's going through and then the next day they're like oh jessica is fucking ugly <laughs> do you know what i mean i'm not talking about any jessica <sighs> i hate those type of girls it costs nothing to be nice it costs literally nothing my mentality now is that even if someone's done me dirty i will never ever stoop to the low point of hating on them commenting about their appearance or anything like that. I've had the experience of girls hating on me, going to the extremities hating on me, and it's not nice, it really isn't. It did put me down for a while. I allowed it to put me down, which I shouldn't have. And then I realized that, what good is it gonna do? Letting it get to me. And now, I don't care. Anyone who's done me dirty, I will treat them with respect because that is who I am now. That's the person that I wanna be. I know it can be so hard so hard to do it but treat them with respect treat everyone with respect just do it i started this youtube channel on a whim i was like one day do you know what i'm gonna make it and i did i'm putting myself out there i'm sharing on all platforms this is literally me exposing myself to the fullest. there's no filters on youtube there's no filters on me right now. There's nothing. It's me really putting myself out there, making myself vulnerable. But this is something that I needed to do to push myself and become more confident. 
I covered this in my last video in my get to know me bit about like friends and qualities and things I value in friendship and it is so important to surround yourself with people who are genuine. I have been through friendships where people will lie and talk about you behind your back and it is not a nice friendship to be in. It can really, really, really get you down. So make sure if you're friends with those sort of people, stand up and cut them off. Grow up and just do it, okay? <laughs> have friends that will congratulate you on hitting milestones, friends that will support your small business, friends that will always be there for you no matter what happens. You need to have goals, aspirations, manifest, like speak to, your, do you know how, you know I talk to myself, like I talk to myself 24 seven guys, I'm an only child, my mum lives in Italy, I talk to myself 24 seven, when I was at uni, my flatmates probably thought I was crazy because I talk to myself 24-7. <laughs> when I'm down or when I'm not feeling bored to do anything, I talk to myself. I'm like, Alabama, listen, if you want to be this and be that, you've got to get up off your ass and you've got to put the grind in. Get down what you want to achieve. Make a vision board and set it as a background on your phone. My laptop has my vision board as the background and every time I open it, I'm like, that is what I want to achieve, that is what I want to do. When you begin working towards that and you hit little mini goals, you'll feel so good about yourself. That is today's video, guys. I think I've gone off on multiple rants, 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 rants. I say rants, people laugh at me, so rants. I think I've gone off a little bit too much today. This lemon water is really doing too much to me. It's giving me too much energy, so I'm gonna stop. I'm not, you know, a professional. I'm just giving my opinions and how I have personally gotten through my own struggles and how I feel like a bad bitch now. I am a bad bitch. So you've got to tell yourself and then you'll feel good. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!